This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 where the world designs electronics and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine for electronic parts. In my previous video, I designed and made my own Arduino Pro Micro and today I'm going to use it with the PN532 NFC RFID module. If you want to learn how to design a professional PCB in Ultium Designer, how to fix design errors in seconds, how to generate Gerber files, how to order cheap yet high quality PCBs from PCBWay, how to order your SMD components, how to place and solder tiny SMD components, how to burn a bootloader on Arduino Pro Micro, then you should watch my previous video. I have added a link in the description. I have already made several beginner, intermediate and advanced level projects on the PN532 NFC RFID module and the PN532 is so far the best RFID module because it has got different interfaces HSU High Speed UART, I2C and SPI. I have already explained how to use all these interfaces in a getting started video. Now the reason I'm using this with the Arduino Pro Micro is that there is no video about how to use the PN532 RFID module with the Arduino Pro Micro and moreover it uses less power as its parts are designed for low power consumption. So if it's used with the Arduino Pro Micro some high-end user products can be designed. As you might know I have started a complete series on products designing. I'm going one step at a time. First I designed a 5 volt and 3 amps power supply and I tested it with the Arduino ESP32 Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi Pico, ESP32 camera module, ESP8266 and sensors etc. Even I have used it to charge my cell phone so I am pretty satisfied with this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. Next I made myself this Arduino Pro Micro. I have already tested it and it works flawlessly. So what I am going to do next is to use this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply to power up the Arduino Pro Micro and to control some LEDs using the PN532 RFID module. I will keep testing it for a few days and if everything goes well then I will combine this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply on a single PCB and then I can do whatever I want. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The VCC and ground pins of the PN532 RFID module are connected with the Arduino Pro Micro 3.3 volt and ground pins, while the SCL and SDA pins of the RFID module are connected with the SCL and SDA pins of the Arduino Pro Micro. On my Arduino Pro Micro, I have clearly labeled the SCL and SDA pins and even I have clearly labeled the SS, MOSI, MISO and SCLK pins. So this way I don't have to remember these pins. Anyway, on the ready-made Arduino Pro Micro, pin 2 is the SDA and pin 3 is the SCL. Two LEDs are connected with the digital pins 4 and 5 through 330 ohm current limiting resistors. So that's all about the connections and if still you have got any confusion then you can follow this circuit diagram. You can download it from the article available on electronicclinic.com. Now let's start with the required libraries. Get your Ultium 365 workspace activated because Ultium 365 provides a useful solution in cases when you are facing difficulties with your PCB design and unsure of your next step. You can share your project in Ultium Designer or on the web with any user in just a few clicks. You will have full control over who you want to give read-only access for let's say comments and design inspections and who you want to give read-write access to allow full global collaboration by a geographically dispersed team with editing performed through Ultium Designer. Let me show you how to share your project. Simply right-click on the project name and select share. Write the user's email. Select read or write permissions from the drop-down menu on the right. and click on the share button. It's just that simple. 
I've added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. Anyway, it doesn't matter if you start with HSEO, I2C or SPI. First, you will need to download all the required libraries. You can download this WinRAR file from my website electronicclinic.com. You can see inside this folder we have all the required libraries so simply copy these folders and paste it into the Arduino libraries folder. As you can see I already have these folders so I am going to click on the skip these files. This is the same code from my getting started video on the PN532 RFID module. This time I only change the pin numbers while everything else remains exactly the same. So let's go ahead and upload this program and then I will explain how to find the take IDs. Anyway, you can download the required libraries and this code from our website electronicclinic.com. As you can see the code has been uploaded. To find the take IDs simply open the serial monitor and start scanning your RFID takes. Then come back to your code and replace my TIG IDs with yours. It's just that simple. So let's go ahead and start the practical demonstration. This is the most important part especially if you are a beginner. If you are just getting started with the Arduino and RFID module and you are performing your initial experiments then you can use your laptop or computer to power up the Arduino board. There is no need to use an external power supply. And if you think you need an external power supply to power up your Arduino board and all the other electronics using a 12 volt adopter or a 12 volt battery or a LiPo battery pick or a lithium ion battery pick or even a solar panel then I highly recommend using this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply because with 3 amps you can power up pretty much all the sensors and the majority of the breakout boards and motors. Anyway, let's first start with the laptop as the power source and then I will use my designed 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.